how I got into movies? Yes, ma'am. Oh, dear. Well, I, um, I was an extra. I worked as an extra in movies for, for several years. Then I went to New York. I'm, I'm originally a, a singer and dancer. I used to sing and dance. So I went to New York and uh, worked a nightclub there. And during the time when I was in New York, they were making a movie in Los Angeles. Uh, the name of it was Lydia Bailey. So when, when I came back from New York, I, 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 Mr. Butler, I would keep calling him, asking him, was anything happening, anything happening? So he said, yes, one of these pictures coming up. And he said, it was Lydia Bailey. So he said, maybe you better come on back. So I came on back to Los Angeles to see what it was all about. And they were doing pre-production shots on it. So I, uh, he asked me if I wanted to do the, they had cast the, the, leading, the leading parts. They had cast this black girl, beautiful black girl named Suzette Harbin. They had cast her. Oh, well, I worked about maybe better than two weeks. And when uh, I finished and they saw the rushes and they called Suzette Harbin back, and she was too short. I was about two inches taller than she was and about two or three shades lighter than she was. She was dark, so they couldn't use her. So that was, that was how I got started. Juanita Moore earned an Oscar nomination back in 1959 and made more than 70 movies. But her name isn't familiar to a younger generation. Her legacy was she persevered. She kept going, she never stopped. After Moore was nominated for playing a maid in Imitation of Life, she made a decision. I didn't want to carry the trays anymore. So Moore refused to play any more maids. And the result was she didn't work for a year. Oh, that was horrible. What it says about Hollywood is that they couldn't break the stereotype. You have an Oscar nomination and okay, well, we're just going to keep her as a maid. And yet Moore still managed to break through. Sister Anne. She's one of the people that not only looked like me, but made me proud to look like me. She was a pioneer in a time and a place where this was not allowed. <laughs> How did you get the role in Imitation of Life? I don't, it's amazing how I got that role uh, because actually the producers uh, wanted uh, Pearl Bailey or Mahalia Jackson. But Ross Hunter, I sent him a picture and uh, he said that he just liked my face and he wanted to see the, the body with this face, that's what he said. Oh, it was really my picture. I worked at the Moulin Rouge. I felt that everybody loved me because I was beautiful. <laughs> well, her caliber is rather extraordinary. She had a longevity that is unusual. I've done movies where they didn't want me close to them, you know. It was not easy. And there was a whole question of stereotypical behavioral patterns that were required of so many of the African-American actors and actresses. Back in the days when Juanita first started, the African-Americans who would play domestics weren't even credited. They were just like the scenery. I'm not bringing the trays in anymore. No. 